islands in the sun. Hello and welcome. My name is Lester Paul, creator and founder of the blog Creative Diversity of Trinidad and Tobago. This afternoon, I'm here with a chef, young chef, Kailash. What are we cooking today? Today I have planned a simple menu, yet with a touch of gourmet. Um, we are going to do a shrimp fettuccine, mm. pasta, and two side dishes, sauteed veg and garlic bread. So today I have prepared seafood shrimp. Yes. And to season it, just grab a spoon here. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do yes. is to do the mixer, right? Okay, so you want me now, to do the mixer. With culinary, it's an art, right? So yes. I kind of eyeball my ingredients. From yes. experience, you will get that um, level of knowing how much to put, right? Oh, okay. So I will just season a little bit of black pepper, fish flavor, and some paprika, for a little bit of smoky flavor. Yes. And a dash of bitters. Oh, wow, bitters. So why is it bitters? Why are we using bitters? To well, Bitters get a uh, really uh, aromatic flavor, taste oh. to the food, right? Okay. Especially when seasoned. So with that, I'll put a little bit of garlic. Oh, nice. And a little bit of pimentos, right? Thank you. Right. So now this is seasoned. Yes. We'll so put it back in the fridge. I'll leave you to do that. Yes, okay. Oh, so and then join me by the stove. So we're going to keep this in the fridge? Yes. Okay. While it marinates for about 10 minutes. Oh, nice. We always want to make sure to add some oil to the boiling water. Okay, and I see right? using olive oil. So olive yes, oil olive oil, oil, Italian again, and it's a much healthier oil to use. You add salt to the water so, again so it gives to the add oil. Yes, pasta doesn't have much salt in it as yet, right? Besides when you put in your dish together. So that's why we put salt in the boiling water so it absorbs that salt flavor. Okay. Right? We have our pasta here and what we are going to do is empty it out. Oh. So now cooking with pasta you have to be very careful as to not allow it to stick. So you have to keep an eye on it, right? Yes. Yeah, so usually um, you would know the pasta is finished by it being soft or is it that um or do you average? You can taste it, you can feel it to yes. know. Right? But being in the industry, as I said, you would have I would know, yeah. Oh. Right? So, so the texture of this is not mushy, yes. but it, it is getting there, right? So that's when you know that it's uh, and done. Al dente um, is ready to come up from the... Oh, oh my. Be careful. This is hot. Right? The cold water has with... Pardon? has but cool in the cooking process. Oh, right? okay. So it gets it much tender. out? Yes. Oh, okay. It stops the cooking process as it, it cuts the heat from continuing. Okay. Right? So once it has cooled down, we will put it to drain. Yes. So we can put it to drain now? Yes. That should be about it there. Okay. Very good. Okay, so we're we gonna leave this here or we could put it Yeah, um actually let me Yes. We can leave it here. Right. And okay. one other thing with the pasta. Yes. Now that it has cooled, yes. We still have to put some oil in it. Into it? Why would you put oil? Because I would have So it will still not stick to the rest of pasta, right? Oh. So now when you turn up that and you just turn this up. Oh yes. so let me just turn up this. And you said this is the sauce that we're making? No, this is the sauté veg we're going to do. Sauté veg, yes. Yeah, okay. Just a lightly coat the bottom of the pan. To release the flavors, I'm going to add a little bit of the garlic. Yes. Oh. A little Thank bit you. of pimento peppers as well. Okay. Take too long to release the aromatics of the garlic and oh, the pepper. Oh, Alright? Now, for the vegetables, there's yes. a process in adding the vegetables. Okay. You want to add the vegetables that will take the longest first. Okay. So, between our three vegetables that we have here, yes. um, the body will take longer. True. So, we add that first. Okay. The longest cooking item first. Yes. And in a process, you add the second 
board, uh, pocket like that. Oh. Yeah. And so we go. Right? And so, so we go. Oh, nice. So we've just actually added in the mushroom, and now we're about to add in the some tomatoes some into corn. the dish, right? And we're gonna put some corn just in, right? So as last one said, we are adding tomatoes and corn, right? So these are the last two ingredients for this dish, and you add it to the end as we had said previously because and it doesn't take much time to cook, right? Yeah. Oh. So while those are now at this point in time, wow. you can season your items, right? So you, this is where you add your salt, black pepper, and entire right. seasoning. Yeah. Alright, so what I'm going to do is add some salt. Yeah. I will taste as we go along. Black pepper, and entire seasoning. Yeah. Now this dish can also be done with other vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, mm -hmm. carrots. Yes. Right? So vegetables are dependent on the person who is cooking. Okay, lovely. Right? So mm -hmm. this dish is practically finished here now. Yes. So also we can take this off. Yes. So we're actually using Smith. Heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Looks very small and nice, right? Blue one. Butter. Yes. To our dish. Ooh. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is saute the shrimp. Okay. And from there we will build the sauce. Yes. Mm. See, why do you use butter instead of oil? Um, different flavor you want to get from it, okay. right? So far we have been using um, extra virgin olive oil, yes. which is really good for you, right? Yeah. But we want to get a nice buttery taste in this dish, yeah. right? We add the remainder of garlic, yes. as well as some pimento peppers, but this is a little touch of local flavor in here, okay. right? The same process as with the vegetables, it's saute. Um, your ingredients to get that aromatic flavors. Uh huh. Okay. So just dump all inside. Just dump all yeah. inside. Okay. Very good. Seafood has a short cooking time. Yes. So, what whereas with meat, whereas with meat it takes longer. This is because of the connective tissues in the um, seafood itself. Um, as compared to say pork or chicken, that contributes to the cooking time of the, the shrimp. Yes. So within five minutes of a dish like this, you will see the um, shrimp started to cool and to pink. Okay. Right? And so you will know it's, it's right. cooking. Yeah. Okay. We have just actually added in the pasta into with the shrimp and we've added in the, the cream. Um, that we had before, right? So now we're actually mixing in everything together so we can have it marinated and cooked together well so we can have this lovely and delicious meal for four people, which includes me. <laughs> Lesson, now with this dish, right? Depends on the palate of the person if they want it to be really creamy, you yeah. add more cream. Okay. If you want it to be less creamy, well, obviously less cream, less right? Cream, yeah. So this has been done for the past five minutes with the cream on Aldi, and I think it's Right, so this is our end product here. Oh, so we will be oh my God. putting shrimp alfredo, just sprinkle a little bit of fresh seasoning on top as for garnish. Yeah. And we now want no, you don't need to spray this grill with anything because it's already the bread is already buttered. So mm. wow. So what we are looking for is some nice grill marks on the bread. Wow, that looks delicious. Really delicious. And we have a little bit of pasta as well. Yeah. Our shrimp. Perfect. Mmm. Alright, delicious. Let's grab a fork here. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. I just like, you know, I'm tasting the, um, 
the pasta and it's like I'm tasting the, the milk and everything inside of it and it's really nice and I'm also tasting that little flavor of, of, of from from the prawns which is the shrimp. Okay, yeah. I'm tasting it and it's like it's really good. It's I, I can't even explain what I'm tasting, but it's tasting really good. Oh my god, this bread is so moist. It's heated and moist, and oh my god, this delicious. Is, yeah, it is so nice. It's like I, I'm eating my mom's home bread. Wow. Mmm. 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 This is really good. I think I personally I believe that you know. Chef Kailash, you have been doing a really excellent job and um, I've learned a lot today and I'm, I'm really glad that I've had the opportunity to actually meet you and come into your home and be able to do this video as well. And thanks for just sharing it with the entire world. And it was know, a pleasure. Yes, yeah, and you know, giving me that opportunity, right? And I, I hope that the audience will enjoy this as well, right? Because this is local, we support local in Trinidad and Tobago and we should always support it. Because these are the young people of our future, right? They are our now and they are our future and we need to remember that. So let's support Kailash. Let's come out and support him, right? If you have catering jobs and stuff you want, if you want to get in contact with him, you can always get in contact with him. So you can give them your contact information. Let us know where we can contact you, to contact you on Facebook, if you can contact you on Instagram, Twitter, where and where we can see more of your work. Okay guys, well, I do have a Facebook page. You can contact me there at Capricorns Gourmet Delights on Facebook. Uh, so you can contact me on my cell 294-1881 or 733-6714 or you can also contact Lester and he will get in contact with me. And word for, of advice for those who want to enter the industry, do not give up on it. Um, follow your dreams. Um, cooking is very um, important these days and a lot, being able to cook and produce your own food is very important and give you that sense of pride that you can produce something like this you know yes. what you are putting in your food exactly right right i really i love this people i really love it i wish that i can just share it with all of you but you know what you've seen the process that he have taken in doing this and you can apply it and do it yourself at home so you know what thank you so much for looking can you do look right we have we're gonna have more videos we can probably gonna give you some more updates on kailash probably in the near future and do support him if you have anything that you want to ask him. You can always send him a message and stuff like that. He's very young, so support the young people of our country. People in the arts are very important, and our art in Trinidad and Tobago need to be publicized. So remember that. Today, I am Lester Paul, and thank you for looking. And this is my guest, Chef Kyla Shrap. Bon appetit. <laughs> in the sun. Mm-hmm.